I estimate that our problem in billings is about 50% um, these types of businesses, the illicit massage businesses in billings. Uh, any other city in this state has either one to three of these places. Uh, so if you do the math, we have about a five to ten times the problem uh, of any other city. Uh, we have federally prosecuted uh, uh, individuals running two of these businesses, um, and the third uh, business owner was indicted uh, just very recently. Um, all of the federal prosecutions are focused solely upon uh, cases in which there are victims, um, which means that there is a victim that was transported into the state for the purpose of commercial sex. Um, they were prosecuted either under the Mann Act um, or they were prosecuted uh, using a facility, facility of interstate commerce to entice somebody uh, to come to Montana to engage in this activity. Um, I said that 50% of the problem is are, are these um, businesses disguised as massage businesses that are actually sex businesses. Um, the other half of our problem are our kids and adults um, being coerced, forced um, into commercial sex. Um, this is happening uh, rampantly also. Uh, so I guess uh, what I have been focusing on, what I've been told by my supervisors to focus on uh, are the kids. Uh, and I think that would be anybody's in this room. Uh, that would be their choice also. Uh, so my, my resources are, are limited by that. I will have less time to, to focus on uh, the illicit uh, businesses that are being discussed today. Uh, what I can tell you is uh, there, there have been multiple businesses in this community that are advertising in foreign language magazines in uh, big cities like New York and Los Angeles. Uh, those ads say, come to Billings, Montana. You don't need papers to come here. That is, you don't need immigration status. Uh, you don't need a massage license to practice here. Uh, and individuals have told us that are victims, they have read ads that say law enforcement is not a problem because they don't care. 